fact, no charges have been filed against the owner of the two dogs. Take a look at this cell phone video from Thursday afternoon. It was recorded by a neighbor and shows deputies responding to calls for help. Miss Barbara Cook's son-in-law told me the two dogs were his and lived at the house on uh, Nancy Street with his mother-in-law. She died from her injuries last night. A neighbor tells me Miss Cook's eight-year-old grandson tried to pull the dogs off of his grandmother and ran for help. Her family says he and the rest of them are just trying to cope with their loss today. They did not want to talk on camera, but said Miss Cook was a sweet woman, a dedicated member of the Kingdom Hall of Jehovah Witnesses in Covington. I also talked to some neighbors who said they avoided walking past that house because they said one of the dogs would regularly bark and try to get out. Um, the deputies that responded to the calls for help, the 911 calls, said that they had to shoot and kill both of the dogs because they charged at those deputies. The family tells me that funeral arrangements for Ms. Cook have not yet been finalized. Reporting live in Mandeville, I'm Jennifer Crockett, WDSU News.